under this government. And I know in my home state in Queensland, where the TAFE uh, system plays such a critical role in getting young people in training, uh, under the uh, experiment that was the Campbell Newman government, we saw a knife taken to higher education and vocational education in Queensland with TAFE teachers sacked. Of course, the privatisation agenda, uh, where the former government wanted to privatise our TAFE system, just as they wanted to sell off our essential assets. But the Palaget government, uh, and under the leadership of the Attorney General and Minister for Justice and Minister for Training and Skills, Yvette Darth, has begun the rebuild of the, the TAFE sector and the training sector in Queensland. And we need our state governments to be partnering and working hand in glove with the federal government to deliver the training, to deliver those uh, job ready particularly young people and long-term unemployment so that we can see productivity increased and we can see the unemployment rates drop. So one of the things the Newman government did was to axe a successful program called Skilling Queenslanders for Work. I'm proud to support the state Labor government, which has seen a $60 million investment to help approximately 8,000 Queenslanders get the qualifications and skills they need. Skilling Queenslanders for Work is a four-year, $240 million initiative that will provide training up to 32,000 job seekers across the state. Now, this is already paying dividends in my own electorate. I've been to a number of graduations where I've met with, spoken with, long-term unemployed, who are reaping the benefits of this successful training program. An axe taken to by the Newman government, little wonder that they were turfed out because of their toxic policies, but we're now seeing that sector being rebuilt. So that framework goes a long way to making sure that we're seeing improvements in training opportunities for young people. We're also seeing in Queensland when uh, student support services were gutted under the former government, uh, former government re reintroduced, uh, and also expanding and improving regional support um, programs. So that's not only providing jobs in the sector, but also providing jobs in our region as well.